Is that why he's grumpy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can chicken pie. Well, morning everybody. We got a full day of testing again. I've got some of these to test today. Looking forward to testing those. Some of the tailor made balls as well, plus loads of other equipment. Bit of panettone for breakfast. I do love panettone. Well, another day, another swing. A very classic steepening of the shaft on the downswing over the hand plane, which we're going to talk about, give you some great drills to try and fix that. Someone will talk about never being able to draw the ball, always suffering with slices and fades. And it's really windy outside, so it's going to be a very interesting day to test on a windy golf course. swing setup looks neat enough back swing looks relatively neat as well um, if we just take him up to the back here decent movement away from the ball there are little tidy ups we could do on the back swing but not until we've got a better grasp of the movement of the downswing what we're going to look at today is this steepening of the shaft as he starts down uh, my good friend Trackman Maestro, you should follow him on uh, Twitter if you don't already talks a lot about trail arm rotation so right arm for right hand and goal for the rotation in the trail shoulder. We're going to talk a little bit about that today, how that could really help this player improve that downswing and start thinking about hitting some very different shaped shots. Morning Matthew. Morning. Test my balls. lines man. <laughs> so ideas with steepening that shaft which is so common trail shoulder rotation so feeling like on the downswing that and the backswing that your trail shoulder is rotating this way like I said my good friend Joe Mayo track man my show follow him on Twitter always talking about this and it's such a good point that he uses with so many of his students so a better player you'll see more trail arm rotation this is going to give you much more chance of flattening that shaft on the downswing letting it drop behind you to then spin out in front rather than this steepening because your trail shoulder wants to rotate this way rather than backwards great drill one hand i've done this with lots of people before up to the top of the backswing then just feel that club falling down your back feel it just dropping down behind you and turn your body to spin it out in front of you just with one hand it will allow you to feel the weight of that club dropping back it'll feel your shoulder just pulling on your shoulder a little bit just to get it rotating backwards which will help that shaft come from that different path on the way down which will affect the path through to impact you get you hitting some different shape shots let's answer your questions mark i have a question about uh strike i only get to play about 10 rounds a year so i focus a lot on um, not many rounds. just trying to find a consistent strike near the center of the club face when i do have time to practice before the round i find that uh what feels like a cause of poor strike for me is an inconsistent tempo in the swing i'll get to the back of the swing the top of the swing smoothly and then try to come down too fast or too hard from there um, i'm wondering if with your students do you see this flaw um, as a cause of poor strike or is the inconsistent tempo actually an effect of some other flaw that i'm not aware of here's my uh european callaway hat sent all the way to the lucky army in virginia <laughs> oh, the legend. that's amazing <laughs> cheers bro nice hat bro <laughs> good question i mean he doesn't play very much no, does he 10 times a year that's is nothing is, is it? the ultimate issue yeah um trying to practice strike if you're only going to play that amount of times a year is quite a good thing to do as well yeah, yeah. i think that makes a lot of sense mm -hmm. um tempo is something i get with my students that question talked about a lot when we look at it closely what it means to them it shows often that it means nothing yeah what do you think i wouldn't be i wouldn't ever really practice tempo because i'm changing shot like every shot on the golf course and it's going to be a different tempo mm. with what shot I'm playing so I wouldn't ever really concentrate on that. I like the way that he's trying to find strike before he starts his round, that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't really be trying to focus on that No. if it was me playing yeah. ten times. <laughs> tempo as well, I mean, 
just defining that word is a yeah, challenge for lots of people. Yeah. Uh, what, so you're talking about really what they feel mm -hmm. rather than often what is actually happening. Good things to practice strike. So a couple of good things they could do. Feet together, warming up, hitting balls, keeps you very centered over the wall is a good way of practicing yep, strike. Like that one. Um, stood on your left foot with your right foot up. Yeah. So again, it's similar to feet together and hitting some to warm up and find strike is a great way of practicing on the range to try and just find a center strike because it takes any of the Sweet. kind of wibbles and wobbles yeah. and sways you might be having in there. Find a bit more time to play would be the real key or even practice swinging. Like if you're gonna play, you haven't played for say a month and then you're gonna play and you get one practice session before you play. Why don't you that week do plenty of practice swings in the garden? Mm -hmm. Pick different clubs up, swing them around, Chip few putts, in the garden, chipping on the, like in the indoors and putting, that will have a bigger effect on his enjoyment level, I think, yeah. than even an hour at the range. Get some of those Callaway soft balls that you get inside. <laughs> Go with your hat. Turn it off now. <laughs> Alright bra. This is George. She's got no whoosh when she swings the club. Could you give her any drills or tips for some whoosh? Please. <laughs> Cheers bra. No problem bra. Great question with the old whoosh. I like that. It's a tricky one. Getting whoosh is very, very hard. Um, what I like to do before you get whoosh is I like to try and get a student to maximise what they put in. I will hit the ball at their club head speed and show them how far my ball goes compared to theirs. So I've got no more whoosh. I'm just applying maybe better strike, better angle of attack, uh, better dynamic loft. Applying numbers that get the most out of the whoosh I put in. Other great ideas with whoosh is trying to actually physically just hit the ball harder. Lots of golfers play in this state of fear and they try to just pat the ball a little bit just and making an effort to try and hit that ball harder and seeing what happens in the consequences does it actually make you wider or not um steve buzz has done lots of tests actually he's a great person to speak to about this where he's got people hitting at their hardest and then people trying to find fairway and he shows some evidence of certain players not all but he, again he's the best player to speak to about it um that they don't hit any further offline when they're trying to hit their hardest hardest shot best thing before you go for whoosh in my opinion is trying to maximize the whoosh you've got <laughs>another simple and really effective drill you can do at home. So I'm gonna stand with my backside level with this door frame. I'm gonna make a pretend turn back swing with my body. I'm gonna put my right hand out on this door frame and I'm gonna then turn on that downswing as if I'm making a downswing, turn my pressure onto my front foot, I'm trying to open up my body while just letting my arm just come down the door frame. While at the same time trying to point my thumb into the corner of this side, so that side of the door frame. What this does is it makes you feel that rotation in your trail shoulder, your right shoulder, that external rotation as your body turns around. The more you can get that feeling, with that thumb pointing back, the more that club will approach from a different angle and it will improve that club path. Play with my balls. Remember, these swing ideas should never replace a full one-to-one -one lesson. That's always the best way. If you want to get involved, send your swings, send your video questions to me. Making a weird sound. It's new. We have a new member of the family. The Sounds weird. Bending like over, picking up energy. poo. Yeah, and that. What are you going to have for lunch now we've talked about it? Well, well.